Okay, I've learned a little bit more about how to connect the transistors. Uh, it really was base collector emitter, which is this, which went back to this, but the problem was not the original diagram, the problem was the position of the coil, and then I just compounded it with a bunch of other issues. So now what we have is the circuit is all back to the way that I originally designed it. This is now connected, and this is running on about the same power you would get out of a AA battery right now. So it's current limited to only 400 milliamps, and this is running. It is pulsing, and we are getting a back EMF here. It probably killed this LED already, which is what I wanted it to do. But let's see if we can get this to go faster. So we're current limited, so I got to give it a little more current. That's half an amp. It's getting faster. Weird. Here it is. It was flashing a moment ago. Can't see it now, it's too bright in here. Let's go a little higher. That's picking up steam. Things are not in perfect alignment. And we got a wobble from hell going on here, but. Okay, that's maxed out on that guy. Okay, we need to do some quick tests here. Thirty thirty four point seven volt or uh, Celsius. Wow. That got hot quick. That's double what it was last night, Dave. Static. Yeah. Seventeen point two. Seems like. Seventeen. That one's probably dead. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Fourteen. Wait, that thirty four went away. What did I have it on? I swear that said 34. Try the diode. Now it's 17.5. The diode? Uh, maybe. 15. So all three transistors are 17? Yeah, it's a little hard to... Uh, Not enough. Could be alignment. sure we're gonna keep messing with this let's see what our uh, see how fast she's going well I don't know that tape's fairly reflective but really oh well <laughs> see how bad we get Two hundred and nineteen. Five. Okay. Yeah, that's all over the map. One spot to reflect back. One thousand forty-three. Hmm. Well, we'll have to do some more testing here. Any rate, at least it's running for now. Worry about optimizing it here as we go. I gotta do some more temperature testing. Wish me luck. Okay, here's another quick test with a fresh diode and a resistor, a 470 resistor in place to protect it a little bit. This is queued up for about half an amp. This will go to around eight volts. And we just wanna see if we give this a little bit of a push. Will she go by herself? Quite enough. 
Not quite enough. Yeah, she's going to slow down too much. Wait, it's still going. Yeah, it wants to go. Okay, let's just stop. Do a little bit more. Yeah, that took. That took. Okay, and we have back EMF. And it's still speeding up. Half an amp. That diode could die any moment. <laughs> that resistor probably won't save it forever. It's keeping the voltage down low enough at low. That's pretty bright. Let's give it more. Oh yes, I got a reflector in place now. Let's just see what we're at. One thousand one hundred ninety. Let's give it more. Dial's still going. Pump up the volts. All the way. This is only 15 volts, 3 amps, but it never goes up to that. You had it at 1 amp before. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still going. Still going. Put it to the wall. The man says jack it up. Okay. Max power. Whoa, it's almost stabilized that light. It's going so fast. Whomping in and out. So this feels more like about 270 RPM, maybe maybe 300. We are just consuming tons of power. Of that LED, you know. <laughs> no, we didn't reach 200. Oh, hold on. 194. Yeah. yeah. So, let's see what we can do about making this faster. Oh yeah, we've only got the three coils in, so one trigger, which is really kind of too far away. You can see in there. And then the two pulse coils. I have to double check, make sure everything is set up with the right polarity. Pretty sure it is, but we may have another set of coils to put in place here now that we know a little bit more about what we're doing. This appears to be working properly. I should test that diode and see what's actually coming out of that through these capacitors. That diode would normally just be connected to a receiving battery for charging, like a Badini. But uh, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, we did a quick little adjustment and um, actually spun it backwards and I forgot that uh, I hadn't adjusted the trigger away from where I was playing with it before. It's really actually in the wrong spot and it's going the wrong direction right now, which means it shouldn't be working almost at all. But it did start, it is going, and it's going much faster and it dropped amperage. The voltage stayed high, but the amperage went up and it's on the oscilloscope here now. It's uh, about 410 RPM. The voltage, 44 volts. So we're only putting in 15, 16 volts. We're putting in 16 volts, one amp. We're getting out 44 max on this guy. And the, the light here is pretty close yeah, to solid. <laughs> I mean, we're only holding that light in stasis due to this resistor, which we wouldn't normally have, so maybe we'd get more juice out of it if we took it off, but uh, I'm going to turn this off, spin it the direction that I wanted it to go, and move the trigger back while it's running, and see if we can adjust it so it goes even higher. But right now, this is about 410. So, wish me luck. 
Okay, last video of this round, but uh, I've adjusted the trigger a little bit closer to me here on this side. Double check the leads on that. They're in the right order. <clears throat> um, I've, I've put three diodes on there just so we spread whatever voltage it's getting across multiple plus the resistor. The resistor, uh, the resistor I want to actually remove that eventually, but... Um, uh, we are getting higher speed now out of it. <clears throat> Not super higher, but let's see what we get. So this is all cranked all the way up. Let's give this a little move. That's all we need. And we're spinning up. Pretty, uh, pretty solid there. What we're looking for out of curiosity is this max voltage here, 45 to 47 or so, max volts out, which is really weird to me because we're only putting in like 16 volts, but <clears throat> the amperage we want to see actually drop, 92, 91 is the lowest I've seen it go. That's good, I guess. But this number here, this frequency, because we have about 10 coils in there, we basically just take that number move the decimal place by one because it's like a division of 10 and that'll tell us how many rpms roughly we've got in hertz so this would be about 430 so if we look at this it sounds like it's maxed out those guys are going still Let's see what we get here There we go, 430. Pretty stable. Now I'm sure we could get another 20 or so RPM out of this if this wheel was actually really properly balanced. Like you can see there's a wibble wobble left or right going on. And over here it's going in and out, so it's definitely not centered. <clears throat> but um, before I do anything about that, I'm more curious about if I put a couple more coils in here in series and set their polarity proper, what would happen? Will we get more of a spike out of here? That would be cool and interesting. And would it cost us more? Alright, that'll be it for now. Take care, bye-bye.